As long as you live, keep learning how to live. Hey, I'm Shari Kay, and on this channel, we discuss purposeful living and personal finance to help you live a full, wealthy life. I need to clear something up. I haven't clearly defined what it means to have a full, wealthy life. Having a full, wealthy life is not solely about financial wealth. That's only a piece of it. Having a full, wealthy life means that you have wellness, fullness in these four areas. First area is health. Health is wealth. What good is it to have financial wealth, but then not have your own physical health or not be well enough, mobile enough, clear enough in the mind to enjoy your wealth without your physical health none of the other stuff even matters. The second one is wellness in your finances. Now, having money we know does not solve problems, but neither does being broke. Now, money helps us to do the thing. Oh, I see a bug. <laughs> oh, it's a ladybug. Hold on, let me get it. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little ladybug. Okay, having financial wealth just helps lay the found not even the foundation but it just it's like helps go in the crevices and supports all of the other aspects most women we, we we are scared of finances we shy away from that part of the financial part um for whatever reason we shy away from that part and it doesn't have to be that way money plays such a big role in just about every single aspect of your life from where you live, to what car you drive, who you choose to marry, the state you live in, the career or job that you choose, if you're able to stay home with your children or not, if you put your children in daycare or not, all of these aspects within our life, money is like the underlying thing at the bottom of these things. Having your finances in order is such a big piece of this, but like I said, it's only a piece of this. The third one, wellness in your relationships. And this one is threefold. It's the relationship with your creator, the relationship with yourself, and relationship with others, such as your family, friends, your spouse, your coworkers. Now, at the core of all this, we all crave connection, connection with others. And the center of your connection really lies in your relationship with yourself. And a lot of times when we are craving something from somebody else, we're usually really craving it from ourselves. We have to be the first person to give that to ourselves. You could have all the money in the world, but if you have horrible relationships, what quality of life does that lead to? Fourth one is fullness and wellness in your areas of contribution. Although we claim that the pursuit of happiness is our inalienable right and the primary driver of the human race, we humans do better pursuing fulfillment and meaning, creating lives that generate the feeling that we matter. It's it's the feeling that you matter, the, the that significance feeling, the feeling that you've made a difference by being here. You've made a difference in someone else's life. And we get that feeling in a variety of ways. Some of us, we get that feeling by nurturing our children. We get that feeling by having um, deep, relationships with people. We get that feeling from volunteering to organizations we care about or donating money to organizations that we care about. Some of us, we get that feeling in our careers and our jobs by doing quality working. There are different ways that we can get that feeling of contribution, but we need that feeling of contribution, the feeling that we matter in this world. Life is a journey, so and sometimes these things you might be well in one area or full in one area and lacking in another or they're unbalanced at times and that's okay this is all a journey as long as we are continuing to dig deeper and develop ourselves i realized early in my financial journey that it leads to an empty life to get there wherever there is for you but to get there and realize that you have no one to share it with or to get there and realize that you've neglected your health or you've sacrificed your health to get there. Or to get there and one day wake up questioning, what was it all for? I don't claim to know all the answers. I am still on my journey 
And my goal for this channel is to share the resources, to share the knowledge, to share the things that have worked for me so far on my journey in hopes that it would help you on your journey. So when I close my videos out and I say all the best to you, this is what I'm referring to, that you have fullness, wellness in these areas of your life, in your health, in your finances, in your relationships, and in your contribution to this world. As long as you live, keep learning how to live. Hey, hey, All the best to you.